The Legend of Malin Kundang Once upon a time, in a seaside village in Padang, West Sumatra, lived a widow called Manderubaya with her only son, Malin Kundang. Manderubaya loved her son so much, which turned Malin Kundang a spoiled child. One day, Malin Kundang suffered a severe illness, which his mother gave every cent of her life savings to cure his illness. Days, months, and years passed by. Malin Kundang turned adult and his mother an old woman. Malin Kundang asked his mother to let him hitch a docked ship nearby and wandered to the big cities to get better fortunes for the family. But Manda denied his request and asked Malin to stay and take care of his mother instead. Mother, this is once in a lifetime opportunity for me. Not every year ship this large docks here. I want to take this opportunity to change our fate. Please, let me go, Malin pleaded his mother. With a sad heart, Monday finally accepted his pleas. Please, be back soon, my child. I'll be waiting for you here, Monday cried. Days by days passed slowly while waiting for Malin. She prayed every single day for Malin to go home safely. To every ship's crews and captains, she asked for Malin's whereabout and didn't get a single answer or even a message for her. Many years full of waiting passed and Mande Rubaya grew older and weaker. While she heard the news from a ship captain nearby that Malin married to a noble and rich woman from a big city. Monday, did you know that your son is now married to a beautiful woman? A daughter of a very rich noble, said the captain. Malin, my son, please go home soon. I'm already old and weak. Please be home soon. His mother prayed every single day to meet her long-awaited son. Months later, another large ship docked near the village. It was the most luxurious and beautiful ship man had ever seen. A pair of rich couple walked off the ship with the lost trues and gold and broader attires. Manda immediately recognized the couple, rushed through the crowd, and hugged the rich man in the lost trues attire. Malin, my son, you're back. Manda broke her tears happily and relieved. Why didn't you send me a message? I miss you, my child. Unexpectedly, Malin jolted and pushed Monday away from him. His wife also looked down on Monday without any respect. Malin's wife spat and shouted at Malin's and Monday. Is this rumpled old woman your mother? Why would you lie to me, Malin? You say that your mother is also a noble woman like me. Hearing that, Malin became furious and pushed his mother to fall to the sand. You mad woman! I'm not your son! He snapped at his mother. Manderubaya sunk in disbelief and hugged Malin's feet. Malin, oh Malin, I've been waiting for you this long. Why would you do this to me? Your mother! Full of anger, Malin kicked his mother away. You were not my mother. You were ugly, poor, and dirty, yelled Malin. Monday cried brokenheartedly. She felt weak, sad, and desperate while Malin and his wife turned their backs and walked away to their ship. The ship sailed away and the crowd left Monday alone by the shore. Monday cried and prayed, Oh God! If he was not my son, I'll forgive his actions to me. But if he is Malin Kundang, I ask you for your righteousness. Immediately, the sky turned dark and the wind blew violently. The rain fell upon the earth with a destructive storm. The storm shook Malin's ship. Various thunders hit the ship unforgivingly and blazed it into pieces. The next morning, Sheep wrecked short near the village with a kneeling man shaped stone between the debris. 
This stone was believed as the curse form of Malin Kundang, kneeling for forgiveness from his mother until today.